Jamie Richards here now with the Midday Buzz. Hi there, happy Monday. Hey you guys, we had the Golden Globe Awards last night. A slight return to normal. <laughs> uh, a very different kind of award show, two months delayed with some political speeches that were in there and some comedy sketches that went nowhere. Overall though, I did like the show. Let's start off with the movie's big winners last night. And the Golden Globe goes to Borat sub subsequent movie film. Golden Globe goes to Nomadland. Nomadland predicted to win Best Picture of the Year in the drama section, and it did. Its director, Chloe Zhao, won Best Director, accepting the award and thanking her lead actress, Frances McDormand, who did not win. On the music and comedy side of it all for movies, Borat, subsequent film, took Best Picture honors. Its star and creator, Sasha Baron Cohen, also won Best Actor. The other acting winners for movies and a drama include Andre Day. Now, this was the really big surprise of the night. She won Best Actress Drama for her lead role in the U.S. versus Billie Holiday. This was Andre's first ever lead acting role. Also, one of the night's most emotional moments came when Chadwick Boseman took took Best Actor honors for his role in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Boseman's widow, Taylor Simone Ledward Boseman, accepted the posthumous honor on his behalf. He would thank God. He would thank his parents. He would thank his ancestors for their guidance and their sacrifices. He would say something beautiful, something inspiring, something that would Amplify that little voice inside of all of us that tells you you can, that tells you to keep going. And hun, you keep them coming. Yeah, beautiful, touching speech. Chadwick died last August after a very private battle with colon cancer. On the music and comedy side of movies, Rosamond Pike won Best Actress for her role in I Care A Lot. I told you about those two Borat subsequent film wins, Sasha Baron Cohen, thanking somebody else who was in his movie. I gotta say this movie couldn't have been possible without my co-star, a fresh new talent who came from nowhere and turned out to be a comedy genius. I'm talking of course about Rudy Giuliani. I mean, who could get more laughs out of one unzipping, incredible. Of course, he's talking about the scene in his movie that does feature the former presidential attorney in a hotel room. He also uh, said that former President Trump was challenging his win in that category for best actor. On the TV side, the night's big winners were... The Crown. The Queen's Gambit. Shit's Creek. After sweeping the Emmy Awards last year, Schitt's Creek won Best TV Comedy last night. The Queen's Gambit won Best Limited Series for Television. And The Crown was a big winner, taking Best TV Drama honors. In fact, it swept the TV drama category, scoring wins for Emma Corrin, who played Princess Diana, and Josh O'Connor, played Prince Charles, Best Actress and Actor, respectively. Gillian Anderson won Best Supporting Actress. For TV Comedy, in addition to winning Best Series for Schitt's Creek, Catherine O'Hara won her first Golden Globe as Best Actress, while Jason Sudeikis thanked his fellow actors after being named Best Actor from a TV comedy for Ted Lasso. I know for a fact they make me better, better than I am, uh, better than I thought I could be, than any, you know, than, <laughs> than anything I could do. And so uh, I appreciate uh, everybody looking out. And Don's right, I gotta wrap this puppy up. You know, never been, never been my forte. Yeah, sometimes you need a little help from your friend uh, Don Cheadle to keep you moving along a little. For Best Limited Series, The Queen's Gambit not only won Best Series, but also took Best Actress honors for Anya Taylor-Joy. Mark Ruffalo won Best Actor for I Know This Much Is True. The Golden Globes also handed out a couple of Lifetime Achievement Awards. 98-year-old Norman Lear was awarded the Carol Burnett Award for his decades of creating iconic television. Vision. And Jane Fonda received the Cecil B. DeMille Award for Career Achievement and urged the entertainment industry to focus on diverse voices. Now, my big highlight of the night were the bi-coastal hosts, Tina Fey in New York, Amy Poehler in Los Angeles. Wow, 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 Amy. 
Amy, we're starting to get some of our good viral gift me moments. I think Don Cheadle like this is pretty good. Uh, Tracy Morgan being a beautiful sowl. And the Golden Globe goes to Sal. That, uh, that feels like home to me. That makes me feel very at home. Also, if anybody wants to know where they can get Jason Sudeikis' hoodie, go to NBC.com backslash Globes Fashion. The Tracy Morgan when he was announcing the winner for best original score, the, the winner was the Pixar movie Soul. Tracy pronounced it Sowl. <laughs> and his, his good friend <laughs> Tina Fey did not let him forget it right. for, the, for the evening as well. I think it worked though. I was actually kind of fascinated by how they did this with hundreds of locations all over the world. And there were a few little technical glitches, but for the most part, it, it moved pretty well. And the hosts are so good because they're playing off what's happening live. They're not just yep. completely scripted. So, yep. you know, that's what makes them great. That yeah, very quick and very smart and, and bright. I, I enjoyed it. And it feels good to have an award show going on again. Never thought I would say that. <laughs> <laughs> and some people did wear the fashion, so we can look at that. And right. then some didn't, Jason Sudeikis. Right. Oh, well, right. the hoodie. Thanks, Dean. See you guys.